ladies and mostly gentlemen, this is it. This is the big one. This is the plate warfront armor for the Alliance. So in this latest alpha build, Blizzard finally blessed us with the plate armor models in the game files. This is the most hyped piece of armor I've seen in a very long time, ever since the concept art was shown at BlizzCon 2017, with that incredible looking cloak. But don't worry, we'll get to that. So much like all the other warfront sets, this armor comes in three colors and three tiers, progressively getting more and more insane as the tiers progress. It's still unknown whether these items will have stats or not, or if they'll just end up being purely transmog items similar to some of the garrison sets. There was also a recent bug found on the alpha by another tester that somehow ported you into an active warfront. This ended up on Tally's stream, and even though it's pretty early on, it does show some good promise, and I hope to see a semi-functioning version ready for testing within the next couple weeks. I also played for a little bit and has a lot of potential to be a really fun and engaging PvE game mode. So enough about all of that, let's get down to what you came here to see, so let's check out the Lions Plate Warfront Armors in-game. So let's start off by checking out the tier 1 armor. Okay, so the story of this armor set is truly a caterpillar into a butterfly, because this first set is not blowing anyone's mind. But I must admit, it could be a lot worse. So let's break this down. So first and foremost, I like the use of colours and textures on this set. Unlike some of the other sets, this set actually looks like what it was made out of. It's a piece of armour which looks like it could be actually pretty practical in a real battle. I'm not a massive fan of the boots on this set, I just think they're a little bit too low res compared to the rest of the set. The legs look pretty cool and actually jar out the side at the top of the thighs to give it a 3D effect, which this tier 1 does not have and it doesn't even have a 3D belt buckle. That being said, the belt is large enough to look great without the 3D buckle. The chest is awesome and it looks great with the chain mail effect on the stomach and arms. The shoulders are large and look pretty good actually, much larger and more impressive than some of the other tier 1 shoulders that we've seen previously. The helm looks pretty silly in my opinion, it's by far the weakest part of the set, and this plate set is actually one of the only sets so far to have a unique cloak on each of the tiers. So this is the first one, a long blue cape that's a bit tattered and war-torn, but it does look great with the rest of the set. Overall, it's not the worst set I've ever seen, but I'd hide that helm the moment I got it. So next up, let's look what the tier 2 has to offer.
So this is the tier 2. So let's go over the changes. Firstly, the chest, legs, boots and gloves have all been reused from the previous tier. This is something we've seen on all Warfront armors, so it's nothing new. This set has added some great additions to that solid base though. The belt now has a buckle with an alliance lion face on it and some leather tassels hanging down from it. The physics on them are awesome as well, especially when you're moving around. The biggest changes to the set are the helm, shoulders and back. So the shoulders have grown in size, but they don't look too ridiculous. Not much of a change from the tier 1, but still a slight change, and they look pretty good. The helm has had some major improvements and honestly it's so good looking that it could easily get away with being the tier 3 helm. It now features a plume on the top of it, which has some pretty funky physics when running around. I guess it's realistic, but it's funny nonetheless, and I'd imagine that's probably going to be changed. The cloak looks pretty much the same, but it's now in a less tattered state. Overall, a really nice set when it's all put together, and I'd be pretty happy if my character never made it to tier 3. That being said, it's finally time to check out what the tier 3 armor looks like in-game. So this is it, and it's certainly something. So the chest and legs have been reused, but they've gained a lot of extra 3D assets to really bring this set to life. Starting from the bottom, the boots have now completely changed and now look like some leather boots with metal protective plates on them. The legs have some extra additions as well in the form of the plates on top of the thighs. Now with the belt, I unfortunately ran into some issues. As you can see, it's basically the same belt from the previous tier, but for some reason the additional extras didn't come up, but you can see them right here on the wowhead images. It's just some extra tassels coming off of the buckle and I think it's a pretty good look. The gloves have now gone a similar way to the boots and now have some extra 3D assets, which look great in my opinion. The shoulders have now fully progressed and they're huge. They now feature some massive lion faces on each side and on the front they have this dangling cloth with a hanging chain. These are all animated perfectly and have some great physics when you run around. It's a really great look. The helm is now fully formed and looks like a HD upgrade of the old vanilla helms and that's a great throwback if you ask me. It looks super mean and practical at the same time. The plume is now thicker and it still has those same funky physics as before but it's still great. And now, onto the cloak. So obviously the concept art was never going to be true to the in-game model. That being said, if you take off the shoulders, you can see they've done a great job at giving the effect of a cloak which covers the shoulders and chest. It's even in 3D as well. Strangely enough, there are some icons in the game files to suggest that the cloak may get some tweaking with possibly going over the shoulder slightly. Someone posted this gif in my Discord showing off possibly what it's supposed to look like. I've no idea of the source of it, but I'd really like to know. So if you guys know who done this, let me know. It's really impressive and I can't wait to see it all working in in game in Battle for Azeroth. Overall, it's definitely a great set and I'm pretty impressed with what the art team have achieved. I hope they put this level of detail and love into some of the other sets that are coming in Battle for Azeroth. 
So that's pretty much all I've got for the Alliance Plate Warfront Armor. You're probably wondering why you haven't seen the Tier 3 set on a male human anywhere. This is due to Blizzard not actually putting the collection's model file into the game. That's the file that deals with the 3D assets, so that would explain why you haven't seen it. It's obviously just a slight mistake and I'm sure they'll fix it in the next build. So let me know down in the comment section below what your thoughts are on this set and whether you think it lived up to the hype of the original concept art. I'd love to know what you guys think. I personally think the armor has lived up to it, but the cloak still needs some work. I really hope that GIF isn't something that someone's developed themselves, as it's actually in a RAF client if you look closely. So before I go, I'd like to give a massive shout out to my amazing patrons and YouTube sponsors. You guys are awesome. If you'd like to support the channel in that way, links are down below. So leave a like on this video if you liked it guys, and subscribe if you haven't. I also have a partner Discord channel with over 3,000 members. Link is down below. And with that, I'll see you next time.